It's about 4.45 in the morning. The sky's already getting lit up, so it's a good time to shoot outside. We're headed to, I think, Liberty Bridge. Liberty Bridge, it's another bridge. It's about two bridges over than we were last time. Sorry, the skimmel's acting a little weird, but welcome to becoming a travel blogger. Blogger. Blog, blog, blogger. major benefit of waking up super early in the morning is there's gonna be no tourists or not a lot of tourists around and obviously this bridge was closed for I think there was an event or something because a lot of people are packing up like stage equipment and stuff so it's kind of cool that we came here we didn't know this was here but we're able to kind of walk around in the middle of this so awesome excuse me ma'am yeah. um what are you doing I'm getting a clip <laughs> Okay, so in this bridge we actually have a pole dancing class happening right in the middle of it. I would have loved to have gotten a shot of this bridge with the sunbeams coming in. So you see the sunbeams hitting the bridge over there, but we got pole dancers sitting over there. I might just shoot it anyway just because it's part of the part of what's going on. I can't necessarily say if it's part of the culture just because pole dancing is everywhere. But it could be cool. Let's see. They're probably gonna be pretty underexposed anyway, so. But I like these leading lines that kind of go up from the ground. It's not too bad, but I'm okay with silhouette kind of stuff. I usually like to shoot into the sun because I like kind of those darker images, but of course, you know, you wanna shoot 90 degrees, but with this image, it looks nice. It's hard for me to recover and kind of get that dynamic range of, I wanna keep the sky and I wanna keep the shadows. So if anybody has any idea on how to properly exposed for that. I guess I would have to put it on a tripod and do that and then bracket my exposure. It's probably not a bad idea. I'm gonna back up a little bit because what I've noticed is I like all of these kind of like leading lines going into here. It doesn't bother me that they have the strip pull over there because it's gonna be super dark anyway. It would have been much better if nothing was here. They're so small in my frame anyway. I'm gonna back up a little bit more. I guess I technically don't want to recover the shadows because then you see all the people stripping or pole dancing, sorry. I'm gonna just keep backing up and see what we get because I do really love these leading lines that are going straight into this other bridge over here. So we have the, the railroad tracks along with the bridge kind of going in. And you have a little bit of sun hitting the bridge. Lighten it up just a little bit, but everything else is falling into kind of more silhouette. But I like that, so it's not too bad. I'm gonna shoot some horizontal landscape. Got a guy walking here, but I don't even see him in my frame. Oh, there he is. It is a struggle out here. We have Leah on the gimbal and she barely uses the gimbal. So I might be popping in and out of frame here and there. So we'll do our best with all of that. Um, I'm gonna keep backing up. Actually, that guy that walked by, if I was paying attention, he actually lined up right in the middle and I could have gotten a nice silhouette of him to kind of frame right in the middle. Um, I'll show you a picture of how I almost got him, but um, I usually screw up on things like that. So I'm gonna shoot a couple more photos right here of this bridge. I kind of want to put on the ultra wide to see the difference with that, but this is, this is good. After this, I have no idea where we're going. Hopefully we can go up this mountain and see more of the, the city. And that's kind of what my goal is right now. Forgot that to get up a hill, you gotta go uphill. So Lee obviously does not have on the right shoes, but I'm sore from yesterday, actually. We're trying to get up a hill to see the whole city. Even though I got that on the Ferris wheel, it's gonna be a different view because we'll be, be able to get the river in it. But this is actually looking pretty promising. statue and it's 
okay up here. There's a bunch of kind of like haze going on. I can see where the river kind of loops around, but we're not high enough to see it. So that would be something like a drone shot. I did see a guy using a drone earlier today, but in Hungary, you need to have a permit and permission to actually shoot with the drone. So I'm not gonna risk it and try to lose my drone on the third day that I am actually traveling out of my six months. So I took some photos, but it's not anything that tickles the pickle. I think maybe if it was sunset, I think that would be a lot better, but um, we're gonna go to the next location. So we're on the train to Vienna and we had legitimate tickets because I bought legitimate tickets. I have the email, they look legit and everything. And people are assigned seats on this train, but we were never assigned a seat, so. Uh, no one can even read our ticket. They're just like, we don't know where you're supposed to sit, but you're in our seat, so get up. <laughs> yeah, we just know we're not in first class. We're in class two, so I don't know what's going on. We've been walking like back and forth and trying to figure out where we are. And this is like a weird experience, so hopefully we don't get kicked off this train. Hopefully these tickets are real and not just like some weird phony ticket. But. It's so sad. And yeah, we got kicked out of our seats three times already. Don't add that though. Here, take it away. Go. Here, take it away. Got it. Got it. Yeah, we, we had to unload a whole bunch of bags because we have a huge party and trains usually leave pretty quickly, but we were actually able to unload the bags fast enough before people actually got on. So the system worked out great. It was kind of scary because if we would have left them in bags, that would have been devastating. But we are here in Vienna. So it is raining right now. Leah didn't come with me because she doesn't want to come out in the rain. There really is no point for her to. Um, sucks that she's not my assistant today, but I just ran around, grabbed some B-roll. And I think right now what I'm gonna do is just kind of do more street photography. In terms of like the larger architectural type of stuff, I'm just gonna worry about that when it's sunny outside. So I was kind of just using today to be more of a location scouting. So as you saw, you saw a bunch of the cool a bunch of the cool spots but we'll, we'll revisit those places when it's sunny to get more dynamic stuff going on with that but now I'm gonna move on to some street photography so I was walking around trying to do street photography and I'm not I don't think I've ever really done street photography so I kind of don't really understand it I know the kind of things I'm looking for so around here it's hard because there's a lot of shop signs there's a lot of name brand signs because I'm in the very touristy area so I'm trying to go in those back alleys those side streets to find stuff but I still have problems of just trying to see it but then again I, I just need to shoot it more and then I'll figure out kind of my style and, and how I want to shoot street photography so if anybody has any tips and on any of that on how to do street photography, how to get good photos, what to look for, let me know because I'm, I'm, I'm mainly a portrait photographer so I know and I can kill portraits all day and night but doing street is just like a whole nother level. So with this it's 
beautiful lighting out, but I'm gonna wait for daytime to get more dynamic lighting for tomorrow for my photos. So I'm just gonna end it here. I'm gonna have a early dinner, early day, and edit early, and then hopefully maybe get up early in the morning. I have to see how I feel. Only had four hours of sleep last night, but yes. I don't know how long this vlog is. We had a good morning hike, but I hope you liked it. See you in the next one.